white men, white women, the slur is calling you. The sacred and ancient symbol of your race since the beginning of time. Well, what are they going to do about it, Whitey? Just sit there. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. Everyone in Canada is saying, Hans, are we the baddies? The skulls on our caps. Skulls? Why skulls? Well, because Canadian Parliament saluted with a standing ovation a member of the Nazi party, a man who swore allegiance to Hitler, a man who committed war crimes, a man who rounded up Jews, was brought into the chamber in order to be honored by Zelensky and Trudeau, and everyone was right there to say, good job, chap. Well done, Nazi. We have here in the chamber today, a literal Nazi. His name is Yaroslav Hunka, a Waffen SS soldier who wow. pledged allegiance to Hitler, fought against our allies in the Soviet Union, and was complicit in the Holocaust. This man's a criminal. Yes, very, very well done. Very well done. This man's a criminal. He is actually a criminal. Now, there are some people saying that uh, Zelensky might have even done like a, a little subtle salute. Let's just call it a, a little salute to the man. Hitler, uh, Zelensky gives Nazi salute. Shut it all down. We don't know. But you can see here Trudeau and Zelensky standing side by side and honoring the Nazi. That's the one thing that is uh, absolutely empirical about this video. And that is why uh, Justin Trudeau is probably finished in Canada. It's amazing that this is the, the moment. Also, how many female security guards does Justin Trudeau have? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> how many female Secret Service agents does Justin Trudeau have? First time Justin Trudeau never stopped to answer questions in his life. Running like a rat, watch. Mr. Prime Minister, did you speak to President Zelensky? Will you apologize? Hey, 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 hey! What are people saying? Well, the man who stands to take Trudeau's seat, conservative leader, Pierre Paul Levere, says the tribute to a Nazi is the worst diplomatic embarrassment in Canadian history. He's right. He's absolutely correct. Paul Levere calls for Trudeau to apologize. Trudeau, effective today, over this invitation, bringing a Nazi to Parliament, having everyone clap for said Nazi. Uh, he resigned. This is what the, uh, this is what that, this is what that looked like here. His resignation didn't, uh, didn't necessarily shock anyone. Trudeau, do your job. Stop hiding. Take the responsibility and apologize. People in Canada are way too nice. You're way too nice. Call for his resignation. People are calling for the resignation of Justin Trudeau. Effectively, because Justin Trudeau actually met with the Nazi. This man right here is the Nazi. Here's the Speaker of the House holding hands with him, along with Liberal House Leader Katrina Gould, Canada Speaker of the House, Anthony Rata, holding hands with the SS officer, Yaroslav Hunka. So, interesting that Justin Trudeau doesn't have a photo with this man, but it's I think this is going to hunt down Justin Trudeau, uh, and his political career is really a ticking time bomb right now because the guy's daughter, this man's daughter, has photos of him in the prime minister's office. There's going to be photos. The next thing to break is that he met with Justin Trudeau, and Justin Trudeau shook his, shook his hand after Zelensky apparently gave him a Nazi salute. Whatever. But you, you can decide. This is the footage. You can decide what you want. Now, Poland is asking for the extradition. Man, life comes at you fast. Poland is demanding extradition of the Waffen SS Nazi veteran who is honored by Trudeau. Polish government minister has launched a bid to extradite Yaroslav Hunka, a 98-year-old Ukrainian Canadian who fought in Nazi German Nazi division during World War II last week and received a standing ovation in Canada's parliament. 
So this division that this man, this division that this man uh, uh, fought in, this division was responsible for war crimes, for burning thousands of people alive in their villages, for rounding up Jews. Forty-five percent of the Jews who died in the Holocaust came from Ukraine. Did you know this? I didn't know this. This man was responsible for that. Here they all are applauding him. By the way, hey, idiot. Hey, you look like you're, hey, dumbass. Look like you have a military uniform on. So you must know something about military history. If they're honoring a guy who fought the Russians during World War II, who was that? Who is that? Anyone? You got a lot of brass on your chest there, sir. Do you know? How about any of you other idiots? Do you know? So stupid. So it's not just uh, Trudeau. Canada itself has a giant Nazi problem, which is crazy. I never thought I'd say that, but sure enough, Deputy Prime Minister of Canada, Chris, Christa Freeland, had family members who were in the same Waffen SS unit serving under Hitler. Both from the Ukrainian Waffen SS division, uh, who she applauded in Canada's parliament, stood a standing ovation and honored according to new information coming to light. So apparently her father, Christia Freeland's granddad, was a Nazi collaborator. Oh, oh my. She looks like, a, she looks like an awful, she just looks like an awful person. <laughs> These people, are, they just look like, this is what globalism does. Just, just sucks you dry. Just, just vacuous, empty shell. This one's very interesting. Turns out, back in the day, back when we had real journalism in America, 1997, 60 Minutes, Canada's Dark Secret exposed how Canada welcomed Nazis. A historian recalls how Pierre Trudeau, Justin Trudeau's father, told him his government hid the Nazi criminals and documents how Ukraine and Baltic immigrants received instant Canadian citizenship by showing the SS tattoo that proved that you were anti-communist. Oh, okay. Huh. Canada's long history of honoring a Nazi vet exposes the long-standing Ukraine policy. By celebrating the Waffen SS volunteer as a hero, Canada's Liberal Party highlighted the long-standing policy that has been seen in Ottawa to train fascist militants in Ukraine while welcoming thousands of SS veterans. Canada's second most powerful official, Christi, Christa Freeland, is the granddaughter of one of Nazi Germany's top Ukraine propagandists. What a despicable rat's nest. Justin Trudeau, for his part, is blaming Russian propaganda for parliament, uh, honoring a Nazi. People are call now calling for Justin Trudeau's uh, total resignation, which is about as rude as you can get in Canada. What does Russian propaganda have to do with Trudeau honoring a Nazi? Yeah, that's right. This is how sick these people are. This is how disgusting these people are. You'll remember Justin Trudeau has multiple blackface, uh, multiple blackface scandals where he painted his face black with shoe polish. And some other guy's like licking his face right here. Sorry for your screen. And he choked this woman, right? <laughs> here he is with his black hand. He went all the way to painting his black hand and, and like choked a woman with his black shoe polish hand. Who are these guys taking photos with Justin Trudeau? How is Justin Trudeau allowed in India? By the way, Indian diplomat says Justin Trudeau is high on, high on cocaine and psychedelic drugs all day. Very interesting from yesterday. Flashback, little girl asked Trudeau, why did you fa paint your face? Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right. Do you want to stand up and ask a question? Why did you paint your face, Bill? Ooh. Um, it was something I shouldn't have done because it hurt people. Um, it's not something that uh, you, you should do. Uh, and that is something that I learned. I didn't know it back then, but I know it now. And I'm sorry I hurt people. But did you paint your note and your hands, Bill? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> did you actually honor the Nazi after you painted your face and your hands brown? Oh, yes. It, it was the wrong thing to do, little girl. I don't know. I have no good Canadian accent. Greg Gutfeld has the best take on all of this. Uh, Justin Trudeau couldn't be red-faced because he's black-faced. Go. Yeah, there's only one, one response here, and that's to invade boots on the ground in Ottawa. Yes. You know, the people will welcome us as liberators. Uh, Justin Trudeau is a scuzz bucket.
He, he, he couldn't be red in the face because he's black in the face. I actually take this pretty personally, and I'll tell you why. This Canadian MP said that just honking your horn in yep. the protests, yep. honk, honk, was code for Heil Hitler. Like apparently, unvaxxed truckers are treated worse than Nazis. Yeah, they made a mistake. I don't buy it. Remember... At this table, when I quoted Man's Search for Meeting, a Holocaust memoir, and I said that you had to have a skill to survive, and not as a good thing, but as a tragic, horrible reality, I was called pro-Nazism. I want to know where those people are now. Where are, the, where are they now when a real Nazi is there? Where's that White House asshole who condemned me? Do you remember that? Huh? Where are those smelly loser bloggers sniffing their dingy fingers and sharing their clonopin with their five cats? Why aren't they speaking up now, huh? When they actually have a real Nazi, because it's not about Nazis. It's about gathering scalps of political adversaries like a real Nazi would.